Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to talk about my favorite resources for learning Flutter. So every Friday night at 5 p.m. we do a live stream where we talk about latest technology trends, we'll answer questions, we look at each other's apps, that kind of stuff. And every week somebody will ask me the same question, Eric, what do you think about Flutter? In fact, it's kind of become an inside joke because it gets asked every single week and I've done videos on this in the past. And we're getting to the point now where I've had a couple clients come to me and they specifically want Flutter projects. So it, we could tell that it's growing to where like normal people, like non-technical people are asking for it by name, which is interesting. So I've done a few videos in the past about why I was excited about Flutter and the reasons I was excited about it. And every time I do one of those videos, somebody will comment, you don't say anything here of substance. All you're doing is say you like it, which is true, right? So I want to start off by saying that this is not a Flutter tutorial, right? I'm not making a Flutter tutorial, so if that's what you're looking for, that's not it. And the reason it's not a Flutter tutorial is because right now my Flutter skills really, really suck, right? I'm still at the crawling stage. I'm at the point now where I'm putting applications together, but I'll come to a problem and it'll keep me stuck for like, longer than it should. Like we're with JavaScript or, or Java or, or even Objective-C, I know where to look, I, I know how to debug, but with Flutter, I'm still in those early stages. However, there are a lot of very, very good Flutter resources out there for learning on YouTube and uh, you know, all, over, and all over the web, right? Normally when I learn a new language, I'll get a book. So, but there's right now, it's so new that there's like maybe one or two Flutter books out there. There's a few on Dart, but not that many on Flutter. And by the time they get published, it's probably gonna be on, on Flutter version three or four or whatever, because it's just moving so fast. So today I just wanna share some of the resources that I found online, and I'm hoping that they will, if you're interested in learning Flutter, then you know, that will help you out. And if there's any that you know of that you wanna include in the comments, please include those. So. Let me just go through some of the ones that I find very useful. I've, I've watched so many videos on Flutter that um, some of them are good, some of them are bad, some of them are at conferences, some of them are a little bit old, but let me go through some of these first. Now, in my opinion, the top YouTube Flutter person is MTech Viral. We've talked about this on the live stream where I was trying to say, who's that guy who does the Flutter? And people say, MTech Viral. So, He's got these really good tutorials here, part one, part two, part three, on using Flutter. They're, you know, they're free because they're on YouTube. You don't have to go purchase a course or anything like that. And he also, he's done all kinds of other subjects. So even just this morning, I had a client looking for a barcode application, like a QR code type of thing. So I, I did a so can you do QR codes in Flutter? And of course, MTech Virals, how to do a QR code reader in Flutter came right up. So, and this happened like three or four times. So he's, he's got such a huge library of videos here. I mean, it's amazing. And he's, um, you know, it's just um, like, when I talk, when people ask me why I don't do tutorials, it's because I see uh, videos like his and I think, dude, man, I could never do that. He's very, very in-depth. So if, you, if you're not following MTech Viral and you're interested in learning Flutter, that's one of the ones I would highly recommend, especially going through that first series. Another one here, which I found really, really good was Let's Code That by uh, uh, Let's Code That, where it's, it's, it kind of goes through at a very punchy pace. So whereas a lot of the other Flutter tutorials I found to be a bit slow, I thought his were very, very fast, very moving through, and it was almost like, I had read a lot on it, but I just needed that refresher and going through and watching his video here, which wasn't very long. I think it was like 45 minutes or 25 minutes, uh, and it's really good. And I like his style of doing tutorials where he has his picture here in the corner. He's got the, he's got the phone, but it, sometimes I just find it, it helps to learn when you can see the developer and he looks into the camera and he explains why things are the way they are. So I found this video for Let's Code That um, on learning Flutter, Flutter getting started. I found that very, I just found it really cool. The other one is, um, is this one here by uh, Fireship. So this is Flutter for the JavaScript developer. Now this is one that really, 
got me to the point where I kept coming with these syntactic issues with Dart and JavaScript, and he kind of goes line by line. So the difference is going from React Native and coming from Ionic. My background is Ionic, but I used to do a lot of React Native, and the developers do React Native, and he goes into it this way. So a lot of I know a lot of you guys out there who I've spoken to are hybrid developers, and if you're looking to get into Flutter, this might be the video to go to. It's a fire ship uh, Flutter for the JavaScript developer, and those are the of all the videos that I've watched, I think those ones have been the most useful to me. I mean, I've seen a lot of others, but those are the ones where I keep going back to again and again. Okay, how did he do that again? How did he do that? Right. The other thing is, okay, there's so many resources out there, lots of books. There's a you know a Medium site on Flutter, but just going through the the basic documentation. I mean, if you've ever read documentation on other frameworks they're okay but i found this one to actually be uh, the flutter documentation to be better than most uh, and maybe that's just me so i spent like saturday morning just going through and reading through all the sample tutorials and the cookbook where they go through and show you like loads of different ways to do stuff uh, what is, what, no it's the code labs here no it's the tutorials over here uh, where you go through and you just start building these things up and and just going through and reading through it on my iPad I get back to the computer and I start doing what I, I was ex eager to get back to the computer so I start coding in this stuff and then I start building the the flutter bits and it's like oh it's just you know how to do it but then you get into that bug and you're like oh I have to go back and check that resource so I know it's not a video here, but I think the uh, the Flutter website, I think it's better than most in terms of learning this kind of stuff. Now, the reason I'm excited about this kind of stuff is because when I was learning, when I was getting into software development, getting a book was really expensive and websites were, they were not as descriptive as they should be. If there was a descriptive website, it would be more like um, trying, to, trying to sell a course or trying to do something else, but we, we see so much we're seeing so much documentation out there that I think as somebody coming into the software development world, I think it's the kind of thing you should jump onto. Like I said, we've had a couple clients already come to us and say, we want this done in Flutter because we've heard really good things about Flutter, even though they're not technical people. So I think that's fantastic. So my question to you is, are there any resources out there that you find very useful in terms of learning Flutter? And if you do, please put them in the comments because I think that would be good for all of us to share and it'd be good for me to learn. Like I said, I'm not putting the time into it that I should to learn, so I'm still at that crawling stage. So I don't wanna show off my Flutter skills in, in this video or any video anytime soon, but we wanna get there. And my developers are, are using Flutter Right, so we, we have to get to that spot. So anyway, hopefully this video has been useful um, and let me know what, what resources you guys use. And that is it for today. I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow.